open up and say, ah. Uh. Ah! Very good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah! Good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah! No, not ah! Just ah. Ah! Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> That looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! <laughs> oh. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. <laughs> Phew! Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. <laughs> the whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. Peso, 
Activate fishback! Stay for lunch. <sighs> Where'd they go? Yeah. Follow the krill where you will. You'll never shake me. Looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is. Oh, hello, don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh, get, get, get away! But I. Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 orca! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashi, send me a picture of a. Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales! There's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it, but I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep and dark and scary, but that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? Astronauts! Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am. <laughs> 
Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah. Quasi said the mud is all mine. My name is Mud. Captain Mud. Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now this is what a mangrove forest should look like. Quasi, Peso, let's spread out and find some nice mud banks for our friends. You gonna let him water you around like that? Well, he is the captain. Says who? You're just as good as he is. Him? Aw, oh, don't make me laugh. Quasi here should be in charge. Forget about it. The captain here is the toughest guy around. Oh, well, you know, besides me, of course. Hmm. Ah, they wanna go their own way? Fine by me. Who needs those yo-yos? Am I right or am I right? Just keep your eyes peeled for some mud, matey. Ha-ha, <laughs> you can count on me. See anything yet? I see a seagull and another seagull. And I see a crab and a lobster and a big old crocodile and a bunch of shrimp. Wait, what was the last one? The shrimp? N no, the one before that. Oh, that was a crocodile. Oh. Crocodile? Ow! <laughs> I've got a giant crocodile on me tail! We're on our way! Hey! You want a piece of this big guy? Come and get it! That's not helping! He's leaving! Any sign of them? Nada. Zip. Nothing. Over there, Captain. Quasi. This calls for some polar bear strength. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. We're rooting for you, big guy. Uh, oh. Thanks, Captain. Hey, no biggie. I could have done that if I wasn't stuck in this stinking helmet. Amazing! Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gut bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the Gup Finder, we're close. This way. Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest. Orange shark? Hold on. That must be the Gup Bee. Come back here. Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> yes! uh, 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 he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish! Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No, he mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? Uh-uh. 
Our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. <laughs> The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Astronauts! Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Do you really think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. <sighs> Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <gasps> That's all you've got. Huh. Um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behavior. They love to get cozy and cuddle with one another. Cozy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Hi, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. <sighs> he wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger? <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean the, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Intruders! Oh! Run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. 
What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the guts. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hearties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> shark! 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 And his teeth are still dirty, too! Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean! Clean and eat! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! <laughs> He's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the Gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean any. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, pilot fish. I'm gonna miss that little fella. I guess I'll have to clean the cups all by myself next time. Oh, I'll help you, Quasi. You will? Of course. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. <laughs> 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 Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids TV characters. Now let's find kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is.